Let's just do this review before I run out of adjectives. Ginger Runner. What's up everybody, Ethan Newberry here for another GingerRunner.com review. Today we are reviewing a very special and exciting shoe. I'm stoked to have been able to try these out. The Solomon S-Lab Sense Ultra. That's a mouthful. So is the shoe. That's... I don't even know. So check this out. I'm doing a review for the S-Lab Sense Ultra right now, but I also did one for the Mantra. If you would like to watch the review for this, just click on it. Yeah, there's gonna be a little annotation on it. Yeah, just click it. Unless you're on mobile, then you're gonna have to go to a computer to click on it. Otherwise, the link will be in the description below. So yeah, that's the Sense Mantra. But today, we are reviewing this one, the S-Lab Sense Ultra. This shoe is amazing. It's a work of art, right? We've all seen the legends of the S-Lab Sense, Killian Jornet running in it, all of Solomon's elite runners running in it, Miguel Jerez. They run in that shoe and they kick ass in that shoe. So the Sense Ultra is similar to that shoe, except the outsole material and the midsole material right here and the heel is a little bit less compliant. It's a little bit stiffer. It's for those longer runs. So it's supposed to hold up over a course of a hundred mile race a little bit better, according to them. In my experience, I found this shoe to be Damn awesome. It's their most minimal shoe, I would say. Still a reduced running shoe. I wouldn't consider it a minimal shoe. It's their flagship shoe for those of us looking to run in a little bit less cushioning. And man, is it light, is it nimble. It just has a lot of really great characteristics going for it for those of us who do like a bit less drop in our shoe. It feels really cool to slip it on too. That might have something to do with the outrageous price tag on it. But overall, it's just a sexy shoe. Let's just do this review before I run out of adjectives. Things that I like. Heel drop. Four millimeter heel drop. And you notice it. Uh, it actually feels really close to a two millimeter drop. It's a real nice ride. It's very fast. The drop just contributes to this wonderful minimal feel in this shoe. Grippy outsole. Along with the Sense Mantra, the Sense Ultra has this wonderful outsole material. It's a really grippy rubber. It's extremely durable. I've run a lot of miles in this shoe, maybe 60 or 70 in my test period, and there's minimal wear on the lugs on the outsole, and it's great for traction both laterally and forward and back. Great work, Solomon. They have that dialed in. Endofit upper. The endofit upper is this sock-like material on the inside of the shoe that when you slip your foot into it, it kind of hugs your foot a lot like a sock, like a neoprene stretchy sock. It just helps the shoe fit so well. It doesn't take over your forefoot area, so it does allow for some breathability in this particular shoe. It's wonderful in the midfoot area. Really, really nice. Seamless. The upper is seamless. Unlike the Mantra, the Sense Ultra doesn't have a bunch of material on the upper that needs stitching or any sort of layering. It's very minimal. It's very simple. Dig it. I mentioned it before, light and nimble. This shoe, it feels like a slipper on your foot. A nice four millimeter drop slipper. It's extremely light. It's fast. You feel fast in it. You just want to run like the wind. The four foot rock plate. Now what's great about this shoe is that the designers knew what they were doing and they put a rock plate in the right places, right? So the rock plate goes to right around the midfoot area and stretches all the way into the forefoot, up into the toes. Provides enough protection where if you're stepping on those harsh, sharp, edged rocks, you're not gonna notice it that much. Less so in the Mantra, but still, not a ton in the shoe. There are a couple things that I dislike with the Sense Ultra. Here they are. The upper quality. Now, I've had some issues with this upper. You'll notice this is more like a paint material that actually has begun to peel off on both my shoes. I don't know if that's really contributing to the ride being any different, but in a shoe that you're spending this much money on, you would hope that nothing would come apart. Mileage. They rate this shoe to get maybe 200 to 250 miles. And I'm guessing that's with someone extremely light and extremely efficient at running. I'm a bit heavier, about 185 pounds. So this shoe may not last me 200 at all. It may last me 150. I'm at about the 70 mile mark with it right now. It's doing fine. Where will it be double that? I don't know. I'm scared. Price. This is a big no-no for me, $180. You know me. Any shoe that's in that price range needs to have a lot going for it. While I do love this shoe with all my heart and I think I would sex it if possible, $180 is a lot to spend, especially on a shoe that has a younger brother that is less expensive but more shoe. I'm not a big fan of the $180 price tag. And finally, a bit narrow. There is some forgiveness in the forefoot upper material that allows your foot to swell and stretch a little bit. 
but not a ton. So if you have a real wide foot, you may wanna try this shoe on first just to make sure your wide foot fits in it. I had no problems with it. It still can be a narrow shoe. So again, the Solomon S Lab Sense Ultra is an amazing shoe. The technology behind it is, is pretty advanced. They definitely went for a lighter upper, stiffer midsole and outsole material. Still very flexible, still very light. And what you end up getting is a wonderfully light and nimble shoe that really encourages you to run faster and more efficiently. Well done. Let's get on with the points. Quality, four out of five. I have to dock them a point for some of the upper material coming off and splitting a little bit. Again, it did not influence the ride or the durability of the shoe. Just seeing that stuff come off, I have to dock them a point for it. Comfort, again, four out of five. You really have to be used to this midsole material. It's a little bit stiffer than you anticipate, but man, it feels good on the trails. So once you get used to that, the comfort level goes up. The light shoe and that endo fit material definitely help contribute to a much more comfortable ride, four out of five. Price two out of five. Again, $180 for a more reduced running shoe just doesn't make sense in my mind and it's so expensive. I know a lot of you guys have paid that for this shoe and love this shoe. You're probably a much faster, better racer than me. I'll be totally honest. For someone in my range, which is a mid packer, front of the mid packers, I can't justify $180 on a shoe that I'm only gonna get about 200 miles out of. And when I run in this shoe, I'm gonna look like a tool bag because I'm not running fast. And finally, looks. Four out of five. I think it's a super sexy shoe. It comes in one color, red and black. It makes a statement. It's the only shoe like it on the market. So for that, I give it four out of five. Overall points, 14 out of 20. A great score for the S Lab Sense Ultra. Again, if you've got the money to pay for a shoe like this, try it out. You can also try out the Sense Mantra. Ideally, you'd have both shoes. The Sense Mantra for training, the Sense Ultra for all those races that you're kicking ass in. But let's say you only have money for one shoe. I would probably go for the Sense Mantra. Give them both a try. See which one fits your foot better, which one's more comfortable to you. If either of them are comfortable and then make the decision for yourself. So that's it for today's review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and favorite it this video. Have you run in these shoes? Have you run in just the Sense, the classic shoe with the white heel that all of the Solomon Elite runners run in and kick ass in? Have you run in that one? What did you think of it? Do you like the midsole material? Do you like the outsole material? Do you win races in this? Come on. And if you're Killian Jornet, why don't you comment in Spanish? So again, guys, that's it. I appreciate you watching these videos, really. I love making these reviews. I love trying out all this equipment and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And I'm very appreciative of all your opinions. I know everyone has an opinion about everything, so please feel free to leave it. It's fine. I like the dialogue. It's great. It only makes for good discussions on these products. After all, we're ultimately trying to get the best product possible out of the manufacturers, am I right? So the discussions are helpful in that sense. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash the ginger runner. I post videos every week, including some bonus videos where I'm racing. I just did a 50 mile race and I posted a video of that, my very first 50 mile race. It's crazy, go watch it. I'm also on Twitter, at The Ginger Runner. You can go over to Facebook and like me there, facebook.com slash The Ginger Runner. And then of course, gingerrunner.com. You can see all my blogs, all my race reports, all my reviews, everything like that. I even have a store with train race beer gear. What is it? Go find it, go check it out. Get yourself a t-shirt or a hat. You guys are fantastic. Really, I couldn't do this without you. So be sure to get out there on the trails, on the roads, on the bike, in the pool, whatever. Train hard, race harder, and then party your ass off.